Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do before we get started. And do your boy a solid. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And do not forget to turn your post notification bell on so you know when your boy's going live and dropping this heat. And today is a beautiful day because today is my daughter's birthday. And I've been telling y'all about this for a minute. Those that watch and those that keep up. You know, so yesterday I didn't upload because yesterday I was busy. I was trying to get all her stuff together for her birthday and all that crap, you know, but I know you got to stay consistent on YouTube. So my bad, but my baby is 18 today. So today is a big day, special day for her. So we got up this morning. She went downstairs. We did the normal thing. We sung happy birthday and did all that daddy love and all that crap. But I sent it to the garage to get some out of the truck. And as she went in the garage, I opened the garage. And outside of the garage was her big, beautiful 2020 Jeep Wrangler. With the doors off and the top off so she can go to school. Sex looking sexy this morning, spectacular, shining. Gave her her paperwork to her parking spot at the high school. Because you know, at the high school, you have to pay for senior parking. So she has a designated parking spot. And they are doing the decorations of the parking spot this weekend. So she gets to go decorate her and paint her parking place so today is a beautiful day besides that hope everybody's okay we gonna transition into something a little different today colorado and i got a question for all the fans but i hope y'all watched the debate the other night and watched donald trump fall flat on his face and continue to bullshit and the lies and if you aren't registered to vote go register to vote because your vote counts and it is needed no matter who you vote for, who you strive for, who you want to win, go vote. Make sure you're registered to vote. Me personally, hope we wipe the flow with Donald Trump because I'm sick of this lying ass, racist ass, want to take us back to 1926 ass individual. But my question for the Colorado Buff fans is, why are you panicking? Calm down. It's just two games, but let's get into it. I am, I am happy to be back with you guys, but I want to know from the Colorado fans, why are we up in arms? Why are we panicking? And it's just game two of year two. I've seen so much on the internet of panic and people losing their minds. I understand you want to express your concerns and want to make changes and hope that changes can be made and they will. And I understand everybody has a feeling. Hell, I wanted changes to be made. I see some things that can be fixed in the running game, in the passing game, even in Shadour. With his holding on to the ball and not doing what's necessary. But you have to tr trust Coach Prime and his staff to make the necessary changes. I think the fan base not those on the immediate inside, but those that are looking from a lens broader than Colorado. Those that want Prime to win and want him to win now. It's as if the whole sports world is coming down on Colorado. It's just week two. Yes, they came up against a better opponent a better prepared opponent. And I think 
those 90,000 fans played a factor on the focus and the push of that team. I think that fan base, 90,000 screaming in a sea of red, the light show, all of that played a factor in that game. But the fan base is in panic mode a lot. A lot of those on the second level of the fan base, not those in the immediate fan base. Those have been watching and reporting and doing YouTube videos and those that care. I don't think we are in panic mode. We believe that they will get it right. We just would like to see a few things adjusted. But those on the outside, I've been watching Twitter and watching people bounce on Coach Prime, bounce on the DC, bounce on the O. You cannot. Up time. You cannot. You cannot hope that this team goes undefeated. You can say, well, they beat Nebraska last year. Yes, they did. But Nebraska also got better. They also made some changes. I was hoping they beat Nebraska. Hell, I made a video about it. I was hoping they put up 400 passing, 200 rushing. You know, I was hoping we had double, triple digits everywhere. But it didn't happen. So I put money on the game. So... Things happen and adjustments allow, you have to allow for adjustments and people to re-energize or shift things around. Mata has to get better in his field goal kicking. He got to get the ball up above the line of scrimmage. Yes, we've been saying that since last year. Ball's too low. Get it up. A lot of things have to change. You got a kicker that can kick 50, 60 yards. You need to put him in and see what he can do. It's a lot of things that have to change. But you have to allow for those changes to happen. Yes, they have a stout offensive line. That running game has to be more prevalent in the offensive side of the ball in order to help Shadur. But the protection got to be right. You got to have motion in the offense. You can't line up and don't move. Your offense can't be a static offense. You got to have motion. You got to shift players around, move players in different areas, different back, put a back here, a back there, tight end, two tight ends. It has to be things to make the defense wonder what the freak we're doing because right now everybody on every defense we play their idea is everybody go they throw on the ball go get your door get your door we ain't got to worry about nothing and we have to counter that with screens with bubble screens inside screens slants cross fades everything a lot that can be done. Pat Shermer has to get creative in the offense. Has to be a different design. I know Pat Shermer's an NFL guy, but he's an old school NFL guy. He's going to have to adapt to this new generation of football. You're going to have to have lots of motion in that offense. They can't know what's coming. Because right now, everybody knows what's coming. Got to change it up. But the fan base can't panic. And there's a lot of panic out there. And that needs to stop. It's a lot of bashing. Of a lot of different people. You can't be that voice. That's in their head. If you want them to win. You got to participate. And. Helping them understand that some. That we have their back. And that we need them to win. 
because it's a lot riding on this season not on this season but on this season it's a lot riding on because there's a lot of nfl talent on this team they just have to learn how to put it together defense it has to be a lot of stunts can't be just man you make a lot of adjustments at halftime and you adjust well but how we adjust in in game during the game you just can't sit in man and cover two and cover three no you have to change that look you have to rotate out of that defense after they set their offense, you have to set your defense to them. You have to change it. You have to have safeties coming down, linebackers going out, linemen dropping in coverage, different things. They can't see the same thing. And for the last two weeks, they got the same thing on tape, and we got to fix that. But anyway, I just want y'all thoughts. We're not going to go long on this one. But later on, it's the birthday girl day. So I'll be partying all day with her. I'm finna go pick her up now from school. Take her to lunch. And then we're gonna go do some daddy daughter time, go do a little shopping, go we'll get her together. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna let her drive me around in her truck today. So yeah. It's all gravy there. But I uh, anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments down in the comment section. We trying to get up to 20K. And people may ask me, where's my WNBA stuff? I'm bringing it back. I just been busy, man. And I'm sorry. I've been super busy. I'm going to get back on all this stuff. We're going to get it popping like we used to. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, Angel's out. Asia's doing what Asia do. They trying to push Caitlin into the MVP race. Stop it. Nobody's getting the MVP but Asia Wilson. Just, just leave that. Let Caitlin worry about that next year. Let her fight for the... Now Angel's out. She has a better chance of winning rookie of the year because she's still playing. But if Angel was still in, I don't think it would be close. But anyway, man, we're going to get out of here. I'll holler at y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching. Leave your comments. Hit the like button. Do what you do. We out. Peace.